tour of Denmark offers a chance for some of the country's brightest stars to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the biggest teams in cycling. This year's race saw Tinkov's Michael Valgren top the podium, but another Danish star took the race by storm. It was Team Virtue Pro Velo Concepts' Mads Vert Schmitz. It's been a great journey for me. I came to this team because I needed a team to support me in almost every race, and they really did. Uh, I've won a lot this year, and thanks to my teammates and, and the whole team. Uh, from the management to, to everybody around, they have supported me throughout the season and it has really helped me a lot to, yeah, to achieve my goals and I'm really happy here. We, we have so much fun. Uh, it's like we just have to look at each other and we start laughing. Uh, so I really enjoy it here and, and I'm super proud of my teammates and, and everything that we've achieved together. And, it has been a very big year for us and yeah, we just love being together. Denmark's development of young cyclists has seen many riders make it to the World Tour and even at continental level the riders can mix it with the big boys. I think we're the biggest uh, development team in Denmark um, and hopefully next year there's some, some other guys to, to take my role and, and to start winning. Uh, it has been a little tough this year for the other guys to to go and, and take some victories, but they really did their best to help me, and I think they've learned a lot from it. And hopefully, it's some something they can can use next year. This year's Tour of Denmark saw former Tour de France winner Bjorn Rees join the team with the Rees Sire project, and he had an immediate impact. With Wurt Schmidt in particular putting in a string of strong performances. We, we've been trying to keep it as it always is because we don't want too big changes, but I can feel in, in the other riders and everyone around that it is something new. Uh, it's some big personalities around the team now, and Bjarne and Lars Sai and some really big, big names. He, he keeps telling us that we need to be together as a team, otherwise we could never achieve what we want to. And I think it has done something to, to the guys and we've been better this in this race than we have been throughout the year. So, I, of course, it, it has something to do with Bjarne is being around. And racing among some of the World Tour's big teams like Tinkov and Lotto Eno Jumbo was a superb opportunity. And the two of them, it was a great race for us. I won the, the TT stage and the other stages was also really good for us. I got second also in, in the first stage and, and third overall. So it was an amazing race for us. And we at the race, we were better than we had been throughout the whole year. So really, really big experience for us. Having performed well at his home race, attention's now turned to the World Championships for the young Dane as he hopes to defend his under-23 time trial title. So for the rest of the season I have uh, the Worlds uh, as a big goal. I want to defend my Rainbow Duesi from last year. Um, I have some big races with the national team and I want to perform there as well, but not, it's not that big, a, big of a goal for me. But uh, yeah, after this race, I'm looking forward to the Worlds. And in the longer future, I'm yeah, hoping to get to the World Tour next year. And then it's hard for me to say what I really want to, because I have to find myself and get a new role in a new team. And it will be hard, but I'm really looking forward to it. Bud Schmidt's chance to defend his title is approaching. However, the memory from Richmond is still fresh in his mind to help him along the way. It was uh, amazing. Um, I remember just before I was going to the podium to get the jersey, I sat in the back and cried in front of all the, the podium girls. Uh, it was a really emotional day and my father was there also to support me. He traveled alone all the way to, to the States. Uh, to be there in a week and I, he was there to support me and that meant a lot. Uh, so it was, uh, it was one of the biggest days of my life.